I want you to look at this phone. Observe the display. Notice the kill shaped cutout, curved corners, the proportionally sized bezels, and of course, non existent chin. It's the same thickness as the top edge of the screen. Now, observe as we move to the back. Take in the nice shade called glamorous green. Observe the camera arrangement, square shaped camera island, and then look at the texture look at the finish and look at the pattern that's etched into the back now look at the sides and observe the ultra sleek profile if that doesn't scream premium to you i don't know what is because this has got to be one of the more eye-catchy smartphones that we've laid our hands on so far this year now compare this with the phone that you have with you right now is it better is there something that you're looking for let me know in the comments, but in the meantime, I'd like to invite you all to subscribe to our channel because once again, we're not getting paid for this video and your support goes a really long way. So this is the Honor X8B and if you're not blown away with how well made this phone looks just by the styling, the finish, the nice display panel and the return of the pill shape cutout, then I don't know what your standard for a mid-range phone is, but this is a Snapdragon 680 powered smartphone. It's super thin, light, and durable. It only measures 6.8 millimeters. It weighs 166 grams, and it comes with SGS five-star drop resistant certification. This is an AMOLED panel measuring 6.7 inches with a refresh rate of 90 Hertz and a resolution of 1080 by 2412. It's super bright, peaking at 2000 nits with high brightness mode up to 1200 nits. And it comes with high PWM dimming rate of 30 to 40 Hertz. Just in case you're only hearing about PWM dimming rate, we have an entire video dedicated to that but essentially, it lessens the amount of eye strain that you get from using your phone for prolonged periods of time. The phone runs on Android 13 with Magic OS 7.2 and it packs a triple camera setup with a 108 megapixel main sensor, a 5 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. For selfies, you have the interesting pill shaped cutout, and that is because it packs both a 50 megapixel selfie camera as well as front facing LED flash. It also comes with 8 gigabytes of LPDDR4X as well as 512 gigabytes of internal storage using UFS modules. Last but not least, the phone comes with a 4800 milliamp hour battery which charges at 35 watts. It's what they call Honor Supercharge. So I'm gonna cut to the chase. This is a lifestyle phone. Snapdragon 680 4G chipset with Antutu scores of 291 points. Chances are enthusiasts are gonna overlook that. Magic OS offers a really smooth and clean user interface and then the Magic Capsule. While it's nice, it offers very limited utility and supports very few apps right now. It surely doesn't help that we're still running on Android 13 in the Android 14 era. In terms of battery life, we were able to get as much as 10 and a half hours. So if your use case is more on the performance side, if you use a ton of resource intensive apps, or if you're thinking to game, you may want to think twice before getting this phone. If you like to consume content or if you use the camera a lot, if you take a ton of photos and videos, then this might be the phone for you. I mean, just look at it. You already have the hardware to support a 108 megapixel main sensor as well as a 50 megapixel selfie camera. Now, the only thing that's lacking is stabilization. It doesn't come with optical image stabilization hardware. It also doesn't currently have EIS. However, the good thing about it is that Electronic Image Stabilization, or EIS, is completely software dependent. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that we'll eventually see this in a future OTA update. But the good thing is that the 108 megapixel main sensor gives you a lot of wiggle room to work with. And then the selfie camera comes with an LED flash, which is definitely going to help you with those low light selfie photos and videos.
wala ako nakita ang image stabilization feature sa camera sa stock camera so tignan natin kung gaano ka smooth yung and this allows them to place an LED flash right beside the selfie camera so for some reason that flash or that LED a lot of Honor's competitors seem to be focusing on performance. I mean, just look at phones that are being released in the 10 to 12K price range, and that should already paint you a picture. So it's a sensible move for Honor to try to have a more lifestyle approach, which just might be what the majority of the customers in the mid-range market are looking for. We're getting an aesthetically pleasing device with a very nice build quality and design and then you're getting decent cameras and amazing amount of storage now that seems to be the story here but of course the story is not complete without the price honor is yet to reveal the price of the x8b but we're thinking it'll be somewhere around the 12k price range which is sort of the price range where people start to look for differentiators, things that would set the phone apart from other competitors in the market. So do you think that Honor was able to accomplish that with the X8B? Let me know in the comment section. Do you have any questions about this phone? We have a bunch of content on the Honor X8B on our channel at YouTube. So we'll see you there. Paalam.